have here is an Olympus OM4. And I'm going to go through some of the procedures on how to make sure this camera is operational. First thing we're going to do is we're going to pop open the battery door. And we're going to take a look at the condition of the batteries and, you know, the, the um, contacts inside here. These batteries aren't exactly the best kind to have in there. Um, in my opinion, some of the better ones to use for cameras of this age are silver oxide batteries. So these are Energizer 357s that are silver oxide. And you place them in there with the positive side facing you. And then the cap goes back on and you twist it on gently. I like to use a nickel for this operation because a nickel fits just perfect into that slot. Now what we're going to do is we're going to load the film. We'll open up the uh, film rewind knob. And if we lift up on it, it will open up the film door. And we now swing the film door open and inside here is where we're going to load our film. Uh, on film goes, cartridge goes on the left side and it feeds across to the right. There's our lead. That's going to go towards the bottom of the camera. And this can all be done in, you know, normal daylight because this is all film that's pretty much never going to see the light of day as far as taking a photograph. So you take the lead edge and you feed it into that catch there at the bottom. But you'll notice where I have it set now, it's not correct. The sprockets don't actually engage the little catch. So I push it down a little bit, make sure it engages. Close the film rewind lever. Make sure it engages the cartridge, which it did engage the cartridge. You saw a little bit of wiggle there. And we're gonna remember that I'm using 200 ISO film. And I'll show you where we're gonna make that adjustment on the camera later on. But for right now, you can see that when I try to advance, and I'm gonna charge the shutter here, fire the shutter, and I'll try to advance the film, everything moves as it should, except for the film. It doesn't advance. And you'll notice that it's kind of crooked. So I just kind of wiggle it here a little bit, get it down there. And really what you want is you want the sprockets and the um, teeth on that gear to engage. So that's proper engagement and proper uh, film loading procedure, right? So you should be able to see it do that once. After that one frame has been advanced through the camera, close it up. And now what we're going to do is tighten the film inside the canister. So we want the film inside the canister to be tight because when we make an advance on the lever side and after we've taken a photograph and we want to advance new film in, we want to be able to see that lever rotate. Fire the shutter. You'll notice our counter is now on S. We'll advance and now we're on, you know, what's considered to be S1. Uh, I mistakenly put the cap on the camera and because I have it in auto mode that doesn't work out too well because the meter is no longer exposed. So I was like trying to figure out, you know, what's going on here. And then eventually, as soon as I pop the cap off, you hear the shutter click. So now we can advance to S2. S2 again is a blank frame. You should just fire that off. and then advance to one. You'll notice still that our ISO is set to 400. So this is where we're gonna make the adjustment to 200 ISO by grabbing that collar and lifting up on it. It moves just ever so slightly. But if we lift up on it, it's gonna allow us to rotate. So we lift up and rotate. And now we can adjust to 200 ISO. And there was two clicks there before 200. So now what we need to do is adjust the exposure compensation back to zero. For everyday use, you can ignore the exposure compensation as long as it's set to zero. Now your Olympus OM4 is loaded and ready to shoot, so go out and have some fun.